but I didn't know it, and uh, I wonder why we're uh, warming up at the other end. All right, the tip goes to Delville. All right, we're just getting started. We're at off high school gymnasium, and we're live. Up under it real quick. It's up and good by this of Delville. They get it inside the hurry. It's two points for Delville. Up on offense in the white uniforms, Delville in the red uniforms. To Ron Nelson out front, Seth Richards on the side, Joey Merrill up under, Johnny Rogers, and Willie Edwards. Bob Gans moving the ball around, and Devil's moving real good on defense. They look mighty quick to me. Seth Richards fire from downtown up. Nothing but net. Three points. Seth Richards. String music, Arlen. That Seth can do it. I call him stretch, but he's tough. Bob Gans back on defense, moving around well. Willie Edwards comes down with a rebound. Bobcats up three to two early in a ball game. Gianni Rogers outside, it's up good. Gianni Rogers. Bobcats up five to two. Hey Randy, they're starting off hot, so maybe they're gonna have a good night. We need to keep that up. We gotta be hot. We know we gotta shoot good to beat Devil. We downtown. Uh oh, downtown. Sampson. Ken Johnson hits a three pointer. She's all tied up, five to five. All of them, I like these three-point shots. I do, too. That really changed the game and made it a lot more exciting. Excuse me, I jerked that phone away from me. That microphone away from me, all and I thought Seth was going to get uh, three points, plus he's going to get uh, uh, a shot from outside, but he just he's going to get three shots, though. I believe that's right. Now, what do you think about shooting three shots, though, Arlen? Shooting three shots? Right. Well, you know, if you get fouled outside that circle and you don't make it, that's how many you get. I know. What do you think about that? That's, that seems like a lot of them. Well, that's true, but that still just adds a little more excitement to the game. And if you can get your free throw shooter up there, free throws, you know, when it comes down to the end of the game, most times it's the difference in winning and losing. I like it myself. I like to see it. Boy, I wish they had it back when I was playing. I want to be still sore. You would never miss, would you? All right, Seth Richard, well, like this. Last year, he was hitting about 90% from the free throw line. This year, he was not hitting good at all. But now then, oh, my goodness, two out of three. Randy, don't you think what was wrong? He was shooting out the wrong barrel. Hey, that might be wrong, right, wrong, right, or something like that. This is going to be a fast game tonight, I can tell you all. Both teams are quick. Both teams are moving. Another one way down, down. It's up and good by Reynolds. Three-pointer. That puts Devil up eight to seven. Johnny Rogers fires again. It's up good. And Johnny Rogers has four points. Nine for the Bobcats, eight for Devil. I tell you, it's exciting now. It's going to be a fast game. You're going to have to hold on at home. Rebound, Seth Richards. Bobcats on the run. Up under Willie Edwards. He takes it all the way to Beckett. Up and good, Willie Edwards. All the Bobcats don't mind running. They'll run and gun. That's what people want to see. That's right. You know, people love to go out and see a ball game, and uh, and the devil throws it away. All that you see in the college, I think the best thing that happened to college basketball was put in the shot clock because I, the people do not like a stall game. I do, too. And, and in the high school, you know, you can keep them from stalling because they have this closely guarded rule that uh, they've got to pass the ball around. They, can't, they can stall and not shoot, but they still got to pass the ball around. I like when people to put it up, and that's what Ops doing tonight, and Devil also. Seth Richards almost ready to under the Willie Edwards, but it's thrown away. Here comes Devil. Good pass off, but Devil, it's up, it's good. Johnson scores two. It's 11 for Ops, Bobcats, 10 for the Devil Warhawks. Randy, you're talking about the shot clock. It may come to pass because, you know, they got this error, shooting error in now. They make a lot of changes in this every year. Willie Edwards goes up. And he's fouled up under by Long. And so Willie Edwards will go to the line shooting two. Willie told me last time Willie shot a couple of those long outside three-pointers. He told me that he's going to be shooting inside, making his buckets and getting fouled and making that one. So, so far it looks like that's what Willie's trying to do. He'll be shooting two free throws. First one's up. No good. Willie will have one more. Arlen 
these charity lines, they mean a lot in the game. They really do. Uh, you'll just keep up with it. They, that's when you win and lose the ball game at the free throw line. Stay one up, and it's nothing but Ned Willie Edwards. And it puts the Bobcats up. 12, 11, 12 10. The clock had moved 11. I said, well, must have missed a point somewhere. But they corrected now and make it 12 10. He all. Good drive by Devil. Where's the. Up, rebound. Let's see what happened here. We have a push off. We have a push off inside by Long. See his second foul, and so it'll be Bobcat ball out at side court. Randy, they letting them play tonight. Uh, I believe that's the second foul in about half of the first quarter. They sure are. 425 remaining, up 12, Delville 10, and an exciting area basketball game. Tyrone Nestle way downtown, up, no good. Rebound by Johnson of Delville, and here they come. Devil in red, Bobcats in the white. Bobcat five on the court now, Teron Nelson, Willie Edwards, Johnny Rogers, Joey Merrill, and Seth Richards. And Willie Edwards comes up with a foul. So it'll be devil ball midcourt. Randy, you know when two good teams get out there and play good basketball, you don't have a lot of fouls. That's right. They, I tell you one, they hustling and getting after it. And that's one thing, all and I like to go to game and you say let them play now. Uh, but I always enjoy going to the game and uh, watching the action instead of a lot of fouls like in football and all seeing a flag on the field. You like it, but you can't let it get out of control. Well, that's, tr that's true, Randy. And you know an official, uh, is, if you don't ever hear him or see him, you know they're doing a good job out there and the kids are doing a good job. That's right. That's another three-pointer. Oh, this is a big kid in here now. Tell you one thing, it's 54 uh, Holland. Uh, he's about, what, about 6'7", Arlen? Uh, I don't know how tall he is, but he looks like he'd be a football player too, doesn't he? Man. Foul, Joey Merrill. I'll run down and You what? I'll run down and take him tape. Uh, Mike's going to run down there and check it out for us. All right. 6-7, six, seven. Six, seven, he said. That was quick by Mike Russell. Mike Russell, you talking about doing anything, Mike Russell could come up with it now, I can tell you. First shot's up. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mike. Mike, you have to watch Mike. He'll come up with a smart remark. You know what? They'll have one more. Makes it 12 to 11. It's up. It's also good. So we're all tied up at Op High School Gymnasium here in the first quarter. It's 12 12. Seth Richard from downtown. No good. And Arlen. We, that seven footer again, rebounding. That's right. And we've last two or three times down there, we haven't made anything. We can't afford to go cold long. Well, and Seth Richard's rebound. Here we go. Over Tyron Nelson. He goes all the way. Teron, Teron, missing. Oh my goodness. Teron's hurrying back. It's up and good by Johnson. 14 to 12 in favor of Delville. Looks like Ops trying to get out of the game, playing a little bit instead of working the ball. They're just coming down and taking the first open shot. Two forty-four remain here in the first quarter. Up in the wide. Willie Edwards fire from the corner. No good. And here comes Devil. <coughs> Tell you one thing, you don't need a Willie Edwards rebound. You don't need a shot clock for Devil. They don't they don't wait around, do they? That's right. And we ain't got an offensive rebound tonight. The team in red doing a good job on the board. What do you think, Mike Russell? I think Jack's having a hard time keeping up with it. All right, Jack doing a good job. Hang in there, Jack. <laughs> he said it's fast. <laughs> Willie Edwards takes it. He goes for the bucket. It's up a little short. Teron Nelson up a little short. Oh, my goodness. We can't get one to go in now, Arlen. Looks like he's got a lid on it now, Randy. I mean, and the ball's on the line. It'll be Bobcat ball. Both teams going up and down the court. I tell you one thing. It's hard to keep up with it. And coming in the ball game, Lavaris Edwards, number 14, replacing Teron Nelson. 14 to 12 in favor of Delville here in the first quarter, 148 remaining. Seth Rickard fired away outside, it's in and out. 
Lavaris gets it. Lavaris goes up, puts it up and in. Lavaris Edwards, two points. Seth has got to start hitting. Everybody got cold in. Lavaris, look, oh, good. The halab. Bobcats knock it away. Seth Richards comes down, and here goes Joey Merrill. Lavaris Edwards from outside, three pointers is up, no good. And here comes Bill. Good play, almost. And Lavaris almost made a good play, but then he fouled him. Arlen, she's fast action off, and it's tied up 14-14. It certainly is. I'll tell you, they go up and down the court. Now you have to be in good shape to stay up with them, too, Randy. I think they ask you about your officiating. You get a game like this and not work it two or three nights a week. It's tough, isn't it? It certainly is. I'll pay for it the next day. That's right. All right, Sean Johnson will be shooting two from charity line. It's up. It's good. He'll have one more. 107 remaining here in the first quarter. Up Bobcats trail Delville by one. Second one's up. It's good. 16-14. Delville over the Up Bobcats. Fast action here at Up High School Gymnasium. Lavaris Edwards takes it to Bucket. And we have a charging foul. It looks like on Lavaris Edwards. That's his um, second foul, so it'll be devil ball up under the Bobcat basket. 59 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. <coughs> oh, a brick that time. He threw up a brick. Bobcat's ball. Good basketball game. Oh, my goodness. We threw it away. But we lucky they turned it back over to us. We turned it over, and then they turned it right back to us. Lucky break here, Arlen. It certainly was. Got quick hands on the 11th part. Lavaris <laughs> takes it in, throws it away again. So another turnover by the Bobcats. 26 seconds left here in the first quarter. 16 for Devil, 14 for the out Bobcats. It looks like Devil's putting it in eyes, Arlen. That's true. Randy, uh, the team that makes the, has the fewest turnovers is the one that's going to be ahead, and that's the reason Devil's ahead of off at, at this time. It's up and good by Viz. Jake Viz. He has four points. We got two seconds. We fire it way up outside, and it's no good. Into the first quarter. Delville 18, up Bobcats 14. All right, we're back here at Off High School Gym. Nathan, referee going to both benches, and let's go. Let's play ball. It's 18-14 here in the second quarter. We're live at Off High School Gym. Nathan. I have women in that, Arlen Davis, Mike Russell, and old Jack Thompson. Tell you one thing, he does a heck of a job on that camera. We may take him off the uh, bucket and put him strictly on uh, filming, Mike. Mike said he didn't care. So that's all right. All right, start the second quarter. It's a... Uh, you see, Arlen, what I had to put up with sometimes, Mike will say sometime, something, sometimes he won't. I understand that, Randy. That's why it's hard every game to work with him. Good play that time by uh, Lavaris. Took it to the bucket, passed off to Willie, and Willie was fouled, so Willie will go to the line shooting two. And the foul was on Holland of Delville. Willie Edwards, so far tonight, one out of two from the charity line. He wanted to dunk out, didn't he, Randy? Looked like he did. A little bit short. Makes him one out of three. All right, Willie, we need this one. It's up. It's good. Willie, two out of four from the charity line. He has four points for tonight. Bobcats trail by three. 7.51 remaining here in the second quarter. 18 for Delville, 15 for the uh, Bobcats. It's up and good by Reynolds. He has five points for tonight. Lavaris Edwards brings the ball for the Bobcats. 20 to 15 in favor of Delville. Seth Richards from three points is up. Good. Seth Richards at his second three-pointer. A few of them will get us back in this ball game right now. It sure will. Bobcats trail by two. 
20 to 18. There's another three-pointer way down, down. Rebound, Seth Richard, and here come the Bobcats. Good pass there. Get it in, Joey. Oh, my goodness. Willie Edwards rebound once, twice. He gets it. It's going the ball. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the referee said we travel, so it's a turnover against the Bobcats. We had a good opportunity there on the tied up. We certainly did. Missed a good chance. 6.55 remaining, or oh, it's 8.53 remaining here in this uh, first half. Bobcats trail by two. In the ball game of the Bobcats, Lavaris Edwards, Seth Richards, Joey Merrill, Johnny Rogers, and Willie Edwards. Lob inside, and the big boy comes down with it. Oh, it's kicked around, everybody, and Seth Richards comes up with it. Don't you do it, Willie. Willie's almost by another three-pointer. He told me he wasn't going to do that tonight. Here's a three-pointer, it's up, and bingo, get it, in and out. Willie Edward gets the rebound and goes in and out. Oh, my goodness, that ball said shot that time went down in the bucket. It must have grease on it. Oh, my goodness, and Seth Richards fouled him, so they'll go to the line. Bobcats had all kind of opportunity to go ahead at that time, but did not quite do it, so going to the line, for Devil, B. Johnson, he'll be shooting two. He's had two tonight and made both of them, Arlen. Randy, is this crowd uh, this quiet all the time, or they usually make a lot more noise than this? Seems like when I'm calling, they, they holler, and you can't hardly hear yourself. Arlen, I tell you, that's probably, uh, you always feel like they're hollering at you, don't you? Oh, definitely not, just cheering the players on. Oh, yeah, they, they look, I guess they are a little quiet now. We'll get things going in a minute, maybe. It's up, and it's good. Johnson, four for four from the free throw line for good pass inside. Go up, Joey. Joey fires it. No good. Uh-oh. Got another foul of Bobcats. Somebody in the Bobcats pushing them up under. And that's Willie Edwards. And Willie Edwards is second foul. He was pushing out up under, so it's Delvo ball. Bobcats trail by four, 22 to 18 here in the second quarter. Devil's in the bonus situation right now, Houston, Randy, and the way they hit them free throws. It. And they lob the ball inside, and Joey Merrill gets some arm that time, and that's two on Joey, two on Willie, and two on Lavaras. Arlen, we're getting in a little foul trouble here in the second half. That's true. Second quarter, that is. There you go. Again, though, no, if they don't, if they keep making them free throws, we're going to get further and further behind. That's right. It's going to the line will be... Donnie Kelly. He'll be shooting one and one. It's up. It's good. He'll have one more shot. It's up. It's good. So we got a substitute coming in the ball game. To Ron Nelson replacing Joey Merrill. Joey has two fouls. Randy, is the red team missed a free throw tonight? Arlen, they are eight out of eight. You, I didn't notice that. You're right. They have not missed one. That uh, hurts. They're eight for eight in the Bobcats. It's up. Been good. Is that Willie Edwards? That Willie. All right, I was counting the free throws, and Willie Edwards. We've missed three free throws, and they've made eight out of eight, and we've made four. So they made four more than we have. Devers in the score, that's right, that's up and good by big number 32 Johnson. He has 10 points here in the first half. Bobcats on offense, Devil on defense. Willie Evers wanted inside, get it to me, get it to me, uh oh. It's up, no good. Rebound back out of Seth Richards, and I mean, good, Levin was all over him. He just mobbed him that time. And that was on Johnson. And Arlen, it, it takes seven fouls bonus now, right? That's right. Well, I'm just fixing to tell you that, you know, that's another change right there. And another thing they added to that too, Randy, is the technical fouls count towards that now. You know, Earl, is that is that new this year? That's just started this year as far as the technical fouls. Uh, counting the All right, I know that first of the year I, I was keeping up with it 
and I knew it had uh, five fouls. And I said, "Was one and one?" And I said, "Well, I must be misadding." And finally figured out after a few games it was seven. That's right. Yeah. Bobcats missed two more opportunities down that time. Two three pointers that would not go. So the Bobcats trail by six. Four minutes remaining here in the second quarter. They're getting it up under good. And that was by Johnson. And he has 12 points here in the first half. Bobcats turn it over again. Here they go. So Ron Nelson doing a good job. Let's see who's that on. They said that on Bobcats, so it'll be Delvo ball. Bobcats trail by eight. Delvo slowly moving away from the Bobcats. Bobcats get the rebound to Ron Nelson, and, and we're on the run. Up under to Willie Edwards. He fakes once, twice, goes around this. No good. It's up and good by Johnson. Hey, one thing, we're going to have to get on, no Johnson. Bobcats call time out. Devil jumps out to a 10-point lead, 30-20. All right, we're back here at our five school gymnasium, and Devil took a run at the Bobcats there and jumped out to a 10 point lead. We're, oh my goodness, another turnover. It's up and good by Rental. So Devil has really put it on the Bobcats here in the last two or three minutes. 12 points, Bobcats are down by 12. Into Willie Edwards, he fakes, goes up, it's no good. And there's that big Johnson. I tell you, he's tough. 32 is tough. And there they go again. Ken Johnson this time scores too. Devil cannot miss, Harlan. Looks like you got eyes in the ring. But they are shooting good percentage shots too, though. Lamar's Edwards for the corner, no good. Willie Edwards does a good job rebounding, but he cannot get it to go in. That lid's still on that basket, isn't it? He just won't go in, just won't go in. Here comes Ashley Davis in the ball game for the Bobcats, placing Seth Richards, 2.43 remaining here in the first half. And the joy, oh, Johnny Rogers, Johnny Rogers up, and it's good. 34-22, Bobcats down by 12 here right before the halftime. 2.30 remaining in the half. Tell you one thing, it's been fast action. Been a good ball game too. Clean, played, good, hard basketball game. Good, great, way downtown. That was an NBA three-pointer by Johnson, was no good. We got to rebound somewhere. We got to get a rebound somewhere here. But finally, Kelly puts it up and in. Four shots at that basket that time, Randy. We can't give him four shots. We all know that, though. Into Johnny Rogers. He fired it up. No good. 36-22. Nobody hot for the Bobcats now. And I tell you, everybody's hot for <laughs> Let's see if the bucket counts. Basket was good, and that was by Johnson. And the foul was on Ashley Davis. Johnson will go to the line, shooting one. He four for four from the free throw line. He has 16 points. It's up, it's good. 39-22. 147 remaining here in the first half. And Mike Russell standing up like he's got to go somewhere. Ashley Davis way outside, it's no good. 133 remaining here in the first half. Hey, where are you going? Play, play. Where you gotta go, 123 remaining here in the first half. Rebound, Johnny Rogers for the out Bobcats. Ron Nelson bring it down. Over to Willie Edwards, he takes it to the bucket. It's up, it's good, Willie Edwards. 
39-24. Bobcats down by 15. Devil has been mighty hot here in the second quarter. Firing way downtown again. No good. Rebound, Ashley Davis. Five cats on the run. Turnover gets the Bobcats, and we have a blocking foul by Teron Nelson. So, uh, they're able to go to line shooting one and one. Coming in the ball game for the Bobcats, Kenneth Edwards, number four, replacing Willie Edwards. Into the line for Devil B. Ken Johnson, shooting one and one. First shot's up, it's good. And also tonight, are they still have not missed a charity shot? Well, they they shooting them at the free throw line. Eleven. They are eleven from eleven from the free throw line. Forty-one, twenty-four in favor of Delville here at Off High School Gymnasium. Enter Johnny Rogers. Back to Ashley Davis. Three pointer, no good. And look at the quickness they have. They have got some quickness. And foul of Kenneth Edwards. So, they able to go back to the line, shooting two. Arlen, they're mighty quick. They surely are. That's what that turnover was, just quickness on Devil's part. Going to the line will be Reynolds, shooting two shots. Still have not missed a free throw. That's 12 in a row here at the ball game. Lucky 13 coming up, Randy. All right, 13. We'll see about that, Arlen. Uh-oh, it tried to get out, Arlen. It rolled around, but it would not come out. Bobcat fire from midcourt. And that's the end of the first half. It's 43 for Delville, 24 for the out Bobcats. Let's take about four breaks here. Technical foul. All right, let's get this. We get that in a minute, Arlen. All right, we're getting started here now with the second half, and uh, Devil has the ball, and it's 43-24. Devil over up, and let's see the ball game for the Bobcats now. It's to Ron Nelson, uh, Johnny Rogers, Joey Merrill, Willie Edwards, and it's up and good there by Long. That looks like to me they're starting right back where they were uh, first half, Arlen. They was hot at the end of the half. They didn't cool off when they went to the dressing room. Joey Merrill goes up. It's good. Joey Merrill, two points. 45-26 in favor of the Bobcats. Up in white, Devil in red. Off of up, it'll be Devil ball. And I believe I didn't get through that starting lineup completely there. Teron Nelson, Seth Richards, Johnny Rogers, Joey Merrill, Willie Edwards for the out Bobcats trailing now. 45-26 here in the third quarter. We downtown, no good. Rebound, Devil, good pass that time. And Seth Johnson for Devil, he stuffed it. And a foul on Willie Edwards. I tell you one thing, Arlen, it's Johnson from Devil is tough. He can jump too, and that's what the people pay their money to see them dunking the ball. That's right. First half, Devil did not miss an extra point. Let's see what happened in the second half. Well, they're starting all the same way for tonight. They are 13 or 14 in a row. Seth Richards, three points, down, down, up. It's good. 29 to 48 in favor of Delville. Both teams are not shy about shooting, and there he goes right back inside. Johnson. He has 22 points on right now. 
He may not he may not be an all state, but he sure looks like one. He, he does to me too. I think he was a heck of a football player too. I think so, Arlen. That's good. Good pass in there by the Bobcats and a Johnny Rogers for two points. Arlen, how what about calling a game fast like this? Do you enjoy that or is it when you get home at night you're tired, aren't you? Well, that's true, Randy, but the game passes a lot faster when they're going up and down the court. And it, you can see what happens a lot better when they spread out like that. As you can hear the crowd that time, Ron Nelson stole it from them. And Sandra Richard, he get hard. Down, down, up for three. Nothing but net. String music. Seth Richard, 34 to 50. Bobcats down by 16. I thought it was a little closer than that, Arlen. But Randy, Op can't get in the running game with Delva. No, I don't think so either. So it's Delva ball. Tell you one thing, they can move it up and down the floor. They're mighty quick. There they go right back to him again, right inside of Johnson. I tell you one thing, he's been tough. How many points you say you had, Randy? I believe that's 24. That was a quick count there, Artie B. 5.25 remaining here in the third quarter. Bobcats down 52-34. Over to Willie Edwards, he fakes once, twice, goes up. It's no good. On the back, Johnny Rogers. So it'll be devil ball. Randy, I noticed that Willie didn't go in to, uh, to follow his shot. I know when you was coaching, you taught your kids to always follow the shots when they shot, didn't he? <laughs> hey, you got to follow those shots. Almost a turnover, but Devil gets it back. Three seconds in the lane, it'll be Bobcat ball. Four minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Devil up 52-34, and it has been a fast ball game tonight. I mean, up and down the court. Joey Merrill up and down for two. 4.35 remaining, 52-36 in favor of Delville. Bobcats getting a little hotter here in the third quarter. And Willie Edwards still there. Here come the Bobcats on the run. Over to Willie Edwards, he goes all the way up and he stuffed it, Willie Edwards. And Arnold, that's what the crowd wants to hear. That's what they want to see. That's what they come to see right there. You hear a word while you're talking about being quiet. That'll bring them to their feet. Now you can tell there's someone here, can't you? That's right. There's another one way down there. Johnny Rogers. And here comes Johnny Rogers all the way. He fakes once, twice over to Seth Richards. Up and good. Seth Richards. Bobcats got a good run. Brought it down to 12 points. And Dale said, I've had enough of this. We want a timeout. And you hear the crowd now, Arlen. Get them fired up, and that'll get the players fired up. All right, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. All right, we're back here now at high school gymnasium. We're live. And I tell you one thing, we've had an exciting third quarter. Bobcats have come back, and we put some uh, action. Devil had to call timeout. We trailed by 12, but we had a good run here in the second half. We've had 16 points here, and this is the third quarter long for the Bobcats. They had only nine. This little boy here can get up. It's up. Been good by Long. One thing about Delville, Arlen, they take it inside. They don't shoot a whole lot from way outside. They get a good shot. Their inside game as good as I've seen, Randy, in a long time. It sure is. Well, if you've got players that can jump like theirs, they, you can have an inside game. Willie Edwards fires, no good. And here they come again. Now they can go. Once they get it, they go with it. Good, great. That was a good pass. That was a good play that time. They just didn't make it. Joey Merrill fakes, goes up. No good. Willie Edwards goes up. It's good. Willie Edwards. I tell you what, this is an exciting ball game. 
54 to 42, 240 left here in the third quarter. I believe we're gonna make a run at him, Randy. Yeah, we got to, we got to get almost, Ola. He traveled, he took steps that time. 230 remaining. Tell you one thing, it's been a good, exciting ball game. I know the Bobcats are down by 12, but uh, if you enjoy basketball, it's been a fast, wide open game. Like a ping pong match, your head going back and forth, or a tennis match, whichever one. Turnover to be Del Ball. Fifty-four for Dale, forty-two for the out Bobcats. And this time Johnson shoots from a three-pointer. I tell you one thing, it don't matter. He's been inside, isn't it? So he goes outside and he burns them out there. He's tough. He's tough. Seth Richards fires from three. It's up, no good. Johnny Rogers gets it, goes up, it's good, Johnny Rogers. We had some offensive rebound now, Arlen. We're beginning to get some offensive rebounds and we scored some. And a block that time by Joey Merrill. Here goes Joey all the way. And we throw it away. Had a good steal at one side. And it's the, it's Bobcat ball. Let's see what the referees get together and they decide which way it is. It'll be Devil Ball. All right. They made the right call, Randy. All right, 137. There he goes again. Jonathan from the side. I tell you what, he's good as I've seen this year so far. I don't, he's, I don't believe he can miss, Randy. I don't believe. I don't even know if he has missed. I know he's shooting good percentage shots inside, but. Hey, he has got a touch. Coach Wood told me before the ball game that he had a touch and he was good. And I believe him now. I may not can play at no major college, but he can play somewhere like Troy State. That time we had a goal tended. We uh, pinned it against the board, so Delville and Johnson gets two more. 61 to 44. Seth Richard goes up. It's good. Tell you one thing, she's getting fast action now, RDB. Yeah, you got to be in shape to go up down and court as many times as they have. That's right. 61 to 46. Fast action ball game here at off Five. Look, way downtown. I tell you, ain't shooting them up. Look at there. Goodness gracious. 32 RDV. Oh, Johnson, he uh, went way up above the bucket and put it back in. I'll tell you one thing, he's putting on a ball game. He's putting on a show tonight. Now, if you hadn't seen anything, he put on a show here tonight. That's worth the price of the ticket. I mean, and I think Coach Wood told me before the game that he was good, but I didn't know he was this good. That fellow that time, now that showed me something there. He went way above it and on a shot, bounced off the rim, and he just stuffed it back down in there. He probably doesn't get the recognition of some of Parsons or some of them at Bradley, but he's just as good as those kids up there. Tell you one thing, all I've heard is those two over at Abbeville and uh, uh, Headland. But I tell you one thing, he he ought to get a little recognition. That's the end of the third quarter. Bobcats trail 63 to 46. All right, we're back here at Off High School Gymnasium. And I'm just counting up, 33 points Johnson has. Number 32, he's got 33 points. I tell you one thing, that's as good an exhibition of basketball playing I have seen in a long time. That's over half of the points that they ever have, right? Sure he is. Will he ever stay to the bucket? It's up, a little short, no good. He's got, Johnson's got it again. So it'll be devil ball. Bobcats going to a full court press. Now let's see what happens here. Bobcats kick it out. It'll be devil ball. 7.42 remaining. 63 for devil, 46 for the Bobcats. 
Bobcats kick it out again. So it'll be devil ball. Seven thirty-eight remain in the ball game. Sixty-three to forty-six in favor of Devil. Here goes Johnson. Oh, he passed off. Which one was that? I don't know what number was that. Forty-four. Forty-four goes up, and that was Long scored two. Joey Merrill puts it up. No good. Randy, that was a good dunk, but that was also a technical foul. The guy was hanging on the rim. You notice that? Hanging on the rim. All right. Devil have the ball, 720 remaining. Yeah, great, what a pass. And 44, stuffs it again. And it's showtime, isn't it? Hey, I mean, if they break, if they break the press, they don't know why it open, they, they'll put it in the hoop. And you see the fans, even a, even the home fans like to see people dunk it. That brought some excitement back to the game when they made dunking legal again, Randy. Arden was it strictly, uh, I guess you can't do it because you run the rim and all. But uh, I enjoyed before the game, you know, seeing people dunk it. I know I say legal, I'm sure they run backboards and all that kind of bend and gold and all because he had dunked it probably 100 times before the game. That's the reason the administration didn't want to have to pay for so many backboards and rims, Randy. All right, Joey Merrill takes it up and puts it in for two. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. You know, I'd love to see that before because could you imagine going to watch some of these teams today in a pregame show? Now, you talk about enjoyment. Everybody would be there early just to watch all that. I wish you could do it, but I guarantee that it would cost something. Watch Willie. Oh, my goodness, I... I thought Willie was going to step it, but he decided not to. Yeah. Here goes Lavarius Edwards. Johnny Rogers fakes, twice, goes up. Good. Johnny Rogers. I tell you one thing, Harlan. Now, it's been some uh, good basketball tonight. I know we're down by 15, but it's. I think Dale just had one of their better games. I think so, too, and it's real exciting as we are getting to. Yep. Willie Edwards, foul on Willie. That's his fourth foul, so it'll be devil ball. I, you're right. I, it's, it's, uh, I know that we're getting beat, but I don't know if we're playing. I don't know that we're playing bad. It's just devil's having a heck of a night. You know, Randy, I coach uh, baseball, and, and some nights you go out there and you just can't Everything you do doesn't go right, but what I'm fixing to say is when you play the best you can and you don't win, you don't have to hang your head. And that's, I think that's what's happening now. I like I was playing good, but I, I think like you're saying, you can, sometimes you can't do anything, but I don't think that's a, a, the thing tonight. I don't think it, we can't do anything. I think devil just can't do anything wrong. That's right. When you ain't missed a free throw all night, you know everything's going right for you. That's right, and uh, devil has not missed a free throw tonight. And... Uh, it's been a fast ball game. Teron Nelson goes to the line, shooting two. Five thirty-eight remaining in this game. First one's up. It's good. Teron, I have one more. So that's a timeout, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back here at our five school gymnasium. It's 538 remaining. To Ron Nelson, I have one more shot at the charity line. Randy, you're talking about the tournament. Uh, is there just four teams in this in this area we in just like it was here? Willie Edwards goes up and puts it in for two. That's right, Arlen. It's four teams, Pike County, Bullock County, Op, and Delva. And where do we stand in the in the area? We're going to be third, Arlen. It doesn't matter where we second or third because the second, third place team play each other. And so we don't know whether we'll play Bullock County or Delva. Well, to win it, you've got to beat out all of them anyway. That's right. But the way they got it now, though, Arlen, you would uh, win one game, now you get to go on. So that makes you want to win that first one. That's true, yeah. Used to, you had to win the whole thing. But now then, 
they got like a situation. Bad like football, you know, two teams get to go. So if you win that first game, you're you get to go on. Johnny Rogers from way outside, no good. That puts a lot more teams in the tournament, doesn't it? Sure does. But now then, though, they do things different than used to, Arlen. You play a kindly district or area. So, you know, everybody, does, you don't get to go to state, but you, we, we call it state. Right. Well, I believe they call it sub-state. Yeah, right? sub-state, but you know when you're a coach, you say we went to state. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Here come the Bobcats again. Tell you one thing, my throat's dry. I've got a cotton mouth now. It's been a fast ball game. Joey Merrill, up, it's good. Time to catch your breath, right? They sure don't. I they sure have helped me. You've been here tonight having somebody talk a little bit. Well, I enjoy it. You know, huh? There goes Johnson. Oh, my goodness. Well, I reckon the reason he didn't make it, Johnny Rogers fouled him. But Johnson is uh, four, five, he's six from six from the foul line. Arlen, they still have not missed one. We'll see, four minutes left in the game. We'll see if they do. You want to bet where he really wants. Oh, he'll make both of them. He's too hot tonight not to. Oh, that's 32. I wouldn't do oh. All right. That's the first one they've missed tonight. We talked him out of it, Arlen. Well, you're talking about the fast game, and I've enjoyed it. And I probably, me being official, I watch the referees about as much as I do the game. So I'll probably miss something once in a while just watching the referees. That's right. It's up. It's good. That's what it are that is tough to, you know, announce. Uh, when you announce the ball game, you don't want to say anything about official because it, uh, you know, it takes away from the game, like you said. You say anything about the pitch eight and all, and I try my best. Sometimes I say, you know, you've been out there, and you know you're going to miss some calls, and, and, and the players are going to miss some, the coach is going to miss some. And it's just human, isn't it? That's exactly right. Everybody's doing the very best they can. And there's another stuff by Sean Johnson. And the crowd goes wild again around us. To Ron Nelson for three points, no good. Johnny Rogers up, no good. Lavaris Edwards up, it's good. Lavaris Edwards for two. These fans don't care who dunks it, they just want to see him dunk it. Yep. And it's a who is that on? Must have been out on Devil. So it'll be Bobcat Ball. 59 to 70, 59 to 60. Hey, I stopped at 11, Arden. We're creeping back. That's right. If we hit some of these three-pointers, we'd be right back in it. We get a three-pointer here, we could be right back in it. 3.33 remaining. Bobcats down by 11. Lavaris Edwards takes it to bucket. Zip, it's good. Lavaris Edwards for two points, and we take a timeout by the Bobcats, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back here at uh, High School Gymnasium. Crowd's getting excited. We pulled back within nine. A few minutes ago, Bobcats down by 16, and we're right back in this thing. 3.23 remaining, and it'll be devil ball. If we can cut them off a little bit, we got a chance to get right back in it. It's been a fast, fast action basketball game. Exciting win for us if they could come back and pull this thing out with it. Boy, it would be a big ball game, Arla. Big, big win being happening. Give our kids a lot of confidence too. Right? That's right. Devil moves it right down the court though. Up oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yep, there he was. I guess you know I talk about how many points he's got, but I guess he's got about 80% of them, Marlin, from, a, oh, yeah, from right at front of the goal. He just doesn't miss. He's in close. He can't Yeah, he's right at front of the goal. So we've given him a lot of easy ones tonight. So we're going to have to work on that for the area tournament. I believe we'll be playing them again in the area tournament. Well, maybe it'll be our night that time. That's right. All right, they step out of bounds. It'll be Bobcat ball. We don't know for sure, but uh, we feel like that'll be the team that we play in. A, or it could be Bullock County. So we'll have to uh, work on that. And coming back in the ball game, Seth Richards replacing Lavaris Edwards. You know, Randy, on any given night, anybody can beat anybody. So maybe one of those nights will be our night. That's right. Teron Nelson takes it to bucket. It's up. It's good. Teron Nelson for two. 63, 72, nine points. There he goes again, though. Watch this. Uh-oh. That was probably a good foul there. 
Deron Nelson grabbed a hold of him, and I tell you, Arlie, that uh, that was probably a good foul because he finished stuff it. Yeah, he just wants to make him make him one point at a time instead of giving it to him all at one time. All right, it'd be all right. They didn't make it either, so they'll get the. Uh, that's right. So Bobcat San Lavar's Edwards in for defense. Bring out Seth Richards. I believe that was on uh, Willie Edwards. I believe that's five. I believe. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I got five. I don't know if that is or not. But keeping all right. Yeah, you're doing a good job keeping it. Yeah. I had five, and they, they say that's right. So Seth Richards will come back in for Willie. No. Two twenty eight remaining in that game. Seventy two to sixty three. Bobcats trail. Going to the line. B. Reynolds shooting one and one. It's up and it's good. They still not missing those free throws, man. Sure not. They just missed one tonight. One more shot. Right. It's up and good and. They call timeout, so we'll take one more quick break and be right back. All right, we're back here at Alpine School Gymnasium, and we've had an exciting one. The Bobcats trail by 11 with 2.28 left, but I tell you one thing, it's been a heck of a basketball game both ways going up and down here. I mean, they've been flying all up and down the court. They certainly have, Randy, and the people have seen a good show tonight. If they didn't see anything but 32, he put on the show for them. They sure have. It's been a good one. I'm not that hasn't been good by the Bobcats losing, but I think the Bobcats has hustled real good tonight and got after them, and I think Devil just had one of their better ball games of the year. Bobcats on offense. Lamar Zedder for three points. It's no good, and there he is again. Johnson rebound. Hey, he's going on down now to get up under the goal, I know. There he goes. But he's decided to pass it back out. Arlen Hill. They're trying to work on their delay a little bit, yeah, it looks like. The ball a bit now. Four corners. You know, that's a good thing in a game like this to work on. I know you get, they know he got it one, but that gives you some good work. And look at here. Good, a great Arlen. Reverse layup. Oh, my goodness. The boy has had a heck of a night. Randy, I believe he scored every way far. I know he has. Ain't no doubt about it. Can't get the ball from him. Cannot get it from him. Lavarez Edwards fouled him. And so he'll go to the line, shooting one and one. I don't even know how many points he got. I, can't, I know he's got 40 points, it looks like. Can't leave. And I'll tell you something else, Randy. I don't believe there's anybody in this gym left. They won't stay till it's over with. See, he put on that show. That's right. They sure had. It's good. He'll have one more shot now. Sean Johnson has put on a show at off high school tonight. Second one's up and good. Randy, I've called for Chuck Persons. I've called for Robert Horry. And I've and you know, both of them play in the NBA now. And I don't I don't believe those kids played any better than this man did tonight. He's put on a show. Tonight, Arlen, that's right. You know, I don't know if that's uh, unusual or what, but tonight we can't judge other games, but tonight he has put on some kind of show. I'm proud I was able to be here to see it. Foul by Joy Maryland. We fouled 32 again, so he is going to put on some kind of uh, a number. He'll go to line shooting one and one. So I tell you now, Bobcat fans, if you haven't been out to see the Bobcats, you need to get out and see them because uh, they got an exciting team. Or as you can tell, they've got a good exciting team. They certainly have. Tonight, we just run up against a hot team from Delville. And that's nothing unusual for him making another extra point. I call you call an extra point. Free throw is good. Uh-oh, missed one. 
Sends Richards down the rebound, but they get it right back. Johnny Rogers comes down with it. Lavarez Edwards takes it to Beckett. Sends Richards fires from three. It's up, no good. Jordan Merrill puts it up, no good. Deron Nelson takes it to Beckett. It's no good. And they're on the run. There he goes again. He scored two. Jory Merrill fires for three points. No good. I think you start thinking you turn out the lights before it is over. Yep. It's, i tell you one thing. They have, we ran into a red hot Delville ball club and I. Coming to the ball game with the Bobcats, Derek Farmer, Ashley Davis, and Kenneth Edwards. I believe that both coaches are clearing the benches, Randy. Ain't sure how. But Arlen, I still want to say that I uh, I really think that the Bobcats, uh, I know we got beat pretty good here, but I think we really hustled and got after them, and I think we just run into a red-hot Delville team. I think when Coach Wood talks to these kids and they think about it, they'll realize it. They can play with them. Uh, they got beat tonight, but they'll know in the back of their mind that they can play with them when it comes tournament time. Oh, I think so too, and that's what uh, uh, we got to worry about now, the tournament. You know, I, really what it's all about, Randy, is if that's what counts as a tournament. If you don't win a game during the season and win the tournament, you still go to the state, so that's what it's all about. That's right. You you work out and found out that you could play with them. All right, well, we've had a good night. we got 48 seconds left here, and... Uh, both team now has completely unloaded their benches and all substitutes in for uh, both teams. And uh, we have definitely seen a good night of basketball for Devil now, not for that Bobcats, but I still kind of stretch it, I guess, a little bit, trying to say that we did not uh, play all that bad, Arlen. Well, we didn't. And I believe the people know the show's over, Randy. They're beginning to file out now. Yeah. And with all the substitutes in now, the people are beginning to leave. 82-63 in favor of Delville. Delville still substituting. Jack's laying back over here, Arlen. He's laid back now. Got his camera with just one arm to sit out there. He's got some crews, hasn't he? He's done a good job, ain't he? He sure has done a good job on that. Well, that's, that's the way of all city employees, Randy. They do a good job. You mean uh, Jack's an example of all uh, city employees? Well, most of them, I guarantee you. All right. 48 seconds remaining here in this ball game. Lavarius Edwards down with the rebound. He's taking it all the way. Kenneth Edwards fires, no good. And this bunch here still running with the ball. That was a big one, Arlen. He started the ball game off, I believe, Randy. Number 54, I believe he was, didn't he? I don't know, he may have. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Everybody's going to try to get a shot in now. And Lavarez Edwards, a three-pointer. And Lavarez Edwards fouled him. we got 19 seconds remaining. 82 for Delville. 66 for the out Bobcats. That may be another foul out right there, too. Lavarez Edwards fouled out. Joey Merrill coming again. 19 seconds remaining. Randy, this is the roughest time in a ball game for official. There was all the kids that wanted to get in and everybody wanted to get a shot. This will be long 19 seconds for them. That's right. And everybody still. I think they let the clock run much as they can without causing too much trouble. Right. I know I saw a foul too there, but I, I would. Yeah, because the game's over. It's already been decided. Trying to get the thing over with and where you can go to the house, but uh, these kids, they are getting after it too. They won't let it get over with. The devil will go to the line shooting uh, one and one. Reversal up, it's good. Have one more shot. It's up. No good. Joey Merrill down with the rebound. 10, 9, and the Bobcats kick it out of bounds. And we got seven seconds.
seconds is all we got left here. Devil takes her all the way, fires up, no good. And that's the end of the ball game. 66 to 83.